Oh, how sweet it is. Michigan is sweet 60 inbound, guys, here for the men's basketball team. And what a victory here before we get into this one. Um, if you guys are new around here, I greatly appreciate it. If you could, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, guys, let's go ahead and cover this great game. Also with some highlights in here, so stay tuned, guys. It's all coming your way here. And um, But yeah, guys, let's. Uh, this was just an amazing game, a great offensive showdown. Michigan won at 86-78. to Got the better of LSU, but and um, just a great game by both teams. LSU got to give credit where credit is due. They played a fantastic game, and um, I mean, really, just three scores on LSU that just lit it up and um, all game long. But Michigan here, just a fantastic game by everybody. Um, including Eli Brooks and Chaundy Brown both had 21 points a combined 42 points from those two guys They really stepped it up in Michigan definitely needed it here and there probably could be one of their toughest games to the uh, road to the final four here Brennan Johns jr. Had seven points five rebounds Hunter Dickinson had a good double double 12 points three assists 11 rebounds and Hunter Dickinson How about the freshman getting triple team double team and everything and he finds a way to pass it out and really helps out the offense i mean their whole defense was just really committed to stopping hunter dickinson and um you know that's why we needed players like eli brooks who had five threes in this game and players like chani brown um franz wagner at the end that can you know uh, shoot the ball and hit threes we really need that here when teams are going to be double teaming or triple teaming hunter dickinson down low and uh, Franz Wagner had 15 points, 2 assists, 7 rebounds. Eli Brooks, again, solid 21 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds. Mike Smith, 5 points, 6 assists, 2 rebounds. Uh, Chauncey Brown, 21 points, 1 assist, 3 rebounds. And Chauncey Brown only played 27 minutes. Um, and so did Brennan Johns Jr., so very good minutes there. Mike Smith played 20, 32 minutes. Eli Brooks played 32 minutes as well. Um, Austin Davis only had one point, and Terrence Williams had three assists, one rebound, four points. Some good minutes played by him as well. LSU, you gotta give him credit, man. Um, Watford had 11 points, and mainly their two scores this whole game was Cam Thomas, a freshman guard, guys, had 30 points. He literally was unstoppable, it seemed like, there in the first half, and I was definitely getting worried. Um, he had also had three rebounds and smart just a great um, You know kind of stop and go point guard um, has that floater that is really good and he had 27 points six assists nine rebounds and both those players uh, Played for 40 minutes the whole game and that was really I mean the all the scores for LSU That was literally their whole offense and it was very Tough for Michigan, um, but they did step step it up on defense and eventually did get some stops. And um, this game was definitely a game of runs. Um, you know, first LSU in the beginning of the game went on a run, and then Michigan answered back, and then LSU went on a run, and then Michigan went on a run. And it kept going like that until Michigan finally took the last run um, towards the end of the game and won it with that. So um, here is the stats. Michigan again if you guys watched my game I previewed this game and I told everybody that they had to out rebound LSU in order to win this game they had to hit three pointers and they had to have at least I'm pretty sure I said a 45 or 50 percent I'm pretty sure I said 40 percent uh, field goal percentage and they shot 53.8 percent from field goal uh, percentage uh, 28 of 52 and LSU shot 27 for 69, 39.1%. So our defense really stepped up. LSU is a great offensive team, and our defense really stepped it up in the second half there um, and, and really just controlled the game towards the end, and we ended up winning it in a great showdown. Um, again, three-pointers are huge here. I mean, we had 10 three-pointers and 40%, shot 40% from three-point uh, range as they shot only six threes. Actually, they really slowed down in the second half. Um, 
but yeah, they shot 28.6% from three-point range. Um, and total rebounds, we out-rebounded them by 7, 37 to 30. And I know that's not really that much of a difference, but it is in this type of game. It was just a, a really great offensive showdown, and uh, our defense definitely stepped it up. The only thing that was bad about this game, also look at the assists, 22 assists Michigan had, and LSU only had 8 assists. We definitely shared the ball this game, and uh, that was really the, the key to the game was Hunter Dickinson getting it down low and passing it out, and we just had great ball movement. And I think our offense could be back. I know LSU doesn't have the best defense, but they have a great offense. And, I mean, it was just a great game to watch. If you're a huge basketball fan, you got to go back and watch that game. Because that game it was a very great game. Um, yeah, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was watching it, man. I was getting a little worried, uh, especially in the first half. I was like, man, these guys cannot... Uh, stop hitting their shots. I mean, they were just hitting shot after shot, and it was like we were guarding them good, but they just kept hitting those shots. And uh, really, we haven't seen a really great offensive team other than like you know, Ohio State was really good against us. Um, Illinois was also really good against us, as um, we lost to them by 23 points. But uh, I mean, we just came out here and really. Um, you know, matched up LSU's athleticism and um, ended up winning the game. And, uh, but yeah, guys, and then turnovers, though, as I was saying, um, that's really the only thing that we do have to clean up is our turnovers. Mike Smith, I don't know if he's still nervous here in um, his first March Madness NCAA tournament appearance, but he just seemed towards the end there. A little nervous he had a couple turnovers um, and he, he really doesn't turn the ball over that much he's a really great point guard and that's why Juwan Howard got him to Michigan and he's just a great ball handler and he really makes no mistakes when he handles the ball but he did have some miscues here in this game uh, he had, we had 12 turnovers they only had three so that's the one thing we have to clean up if we can clean up that uh, you know we should have we should easily go to the final four Alabama is going to be a tough game, but I think Michigan will be able to beat Florida State with no problem after watching this game if they perform like they did against LSU. Um, yeah, like I said, turnovers is key, and I am so uh, just happy for this team. Juwan Howard has, is just a fantastic coach here for Michigan, part of the Fab Five. And, uh, you know, I'm just so glad this team just keeps fighting. And they really got battle tested last night. If you guys were watching that game, if you missed it, man, like I said, go ahead and watch the highlights of that game. I mean, I just think every single uh, basketball fan, if you really like basketball, you got to go watch that game. That was just a, a thrilling game. Um, you know, I, I won't say it's the best college basketball game, but. For me, as a Michigan fan watching, you know, Michigan basketball over the years, it was definitely one of the best, um, you know, thrilling games I've watched, um, you know, but uh, with that being said, I think they should go ahead and beat Florida State. Um, I don't know what the score will really be, but we're going to preview that game later here this week. But again, just a fantastic job by LSU as well in Michigan just got the better of them towards the end of the game and um it was a game of runs and uh we just you know showed up uh with them man i mean it didn't seem like we showed up to play in this game as well as they prepared for this game but you know we started to get going we were slow a little bit there we started to get going and then took the lead at halftime and that was really a huge uh thing um and a momentum getter for us and then we just towards the end of the game just Again, uh, you know, just sorry, LSU fans. I mean, that was a fantastic game and um, a really great job. I mean, you got to give them credit. And, it, you know, it, it's it's a really tough game um, for Michigan. Uh, it was a really tough game for LSU as well. But we definitely got battle tested there. I uh, came out with the win. I couldn't be more happier with our guys and the, and the John Howard's Michigan Wolverines. They are definitely a really great team here and they are here to stay oh, excuse me there and um but yeah guys i mean i think michigan can definitely make a run to the final four the only team in their way is alabama alabama i was watching them 
they were really rocking those threes against Maryland. Um, but, you know, they are almost an identical team to LSU. LSU went head-to-head against them in the SEC Championship, only lost by one. Definitely could have won that game. So, with that being said, Michigan can definitely win the game. It'll be a close game, though. Um, but we got to get past Florida State first, take one game at a time, and just find a way to win and advance here in the NCAA tournament. That's all you got to do. And... Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that game. I really did. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this team. Um, if you're a Big Ten uh, fan watching this uh, video or if you're a Michigan fan or a, a fan of another team, let me know down below who you think is going to win the national championship and who is going to the Final Four. Um, here is the final teams here in the Sweet 16 who made it. And... Um, Pac-12 was doing really great, and Big Ten just really struggling here. Only Michigan is left now, uh, really carrying the load here for the Big Ten. Um, again, just coming off a great win against LSU. You got to keep going, though. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention, this whole video, I really should have mentioned it in, earlier in the video. Michigan is without livers. Obviously, everybody knows that. And to be able to do, to do this without livers is just insane as well. Putting up 86 points without livers, uh, probably your best scoring <clears throat> uh, player on your team. And, you know, like I said, other players stepped up. Uh, Chani Brown, Eli Brooks, really the, the two players of the game for Michigan uh, combined 42 points. And Mi Michigan, you know, you don't see that every single night. Players getting uh, to 20 plus points. Um, you might see that on LSU, you know, players like Cam Thomas, the freshman, and Smart. Um, you know, those players also played a heck of a game. Uh, they, uh, you know, Thomas got uh, 30 points and Smart got 27 points. Watford had 11. Those are mainly their um, three scores there. And they really balled out. You got to give credit to LSU. But Michigan got the better of them. And, um, yeah, guys, we are going to the Sweet 16 I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I uh, hope you guys are, uh, you know, if your team is out of the tournament, you know, sorry about that, um, but if your team is still in it, I'm sure you guys are all happy as well. I'm happy right now, and um, <clears throat> I'm sure mostly Michigan fans are watching this video, so we're probably all happy here, and um, we're going to the Sweet 16. We're still dancing, guys, and um, hopefully we continue our success without livers. And, uh, you know, he's a huge key to our um, team, but I think we definitely can do it without him here. Um, if other players step up, Chauncey Brown, got to keep doing what he's doing. Brandon Johns Jr., got to keep doing what he's doing. And Mike Smith, I think if he can step it up and, you know, he didn't have his best game, but if he can show up like he did at Columbia, I think there is no doubt this team can go to the Final Four, potentially play for a national championship. You saw Juwan Howard after the LSU game put up four fingers heading to the locker room after the game, after they won it. And those four fingers were four more games left, and, those, and that means they want to get to the championship and win it. So with that being said, guys, we're going to end the video there. Um, yeah, that was just a great win for Michigan, and uh, hopefully we beat Florida State. We will be pre previewing that game, so make sure you are subscribed, turn on post notifications, so you never miss a video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.